Going into the winter holidays, COVID isn't the only concern this year. A triple demic involving RSV and the flu could make even more children and adults sick. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Erin LeBeau. And I'm Tamson Fidel. Well, doctors are really worried about three viral threats this season, and we're already off to a really shaky start. Flu cases on the rise earlier than usual this year, and the number of children hospitalized with the respiratory illness RSV, that's skyrocketing as well. And doctors say not enough people are getting the new COVID booster. Yeah, so what could happen if this trend continues weeks or even months from now? So joining us now to answer some of those questions is Dr. Keith Roach, an associate attending physician at New York Presbyterian. Thank you for joining us. Happy to be here. All right, so doctor, there's a lot of concern about this so-called triple-demic, the flu, COVID, and RSV. What are your thoughts about it? And you think these will be some rough months coming up? I do think we're going to have some rough months coming up. Uh, every year, flu is going to be a problem this time of year, and so we're going to have that. And some experts are worried that because we've had pretty light flu years the last two years, uh, a lot of people aren't having a lot of leftover immunity from the previous year. So we may be in for a worse than usual flu year. On top of that, COVID is still around, uh, and there are signs that the newest strains of COVID uh, are uh, particularly transmissible and so we may see what we've seen in the last couple of years with COVID coming up in the winter too. And to make things even worse, uh, the respiratory syncytial virus, uh, which is normally a problem in babies and older adults, um, is also uh, held it, heading up right now. So mm -hmm. between the three of them, we expect to see a lot of people getting respiratory illnesses in the next few months. Well, so, you know, one of the biggest worries, at least for parents, is the virus RSV. Can you talk a little bit about what it is for people that may not know and then the symptoms to look out for? Sure. So RSV has, has been around a long time. It's most often seen um, in babies, but anyone can get it. For adults who get it, it's really just feels like a cold, uh, runny nose, coughing, sneezing, uh, maybe a little bit of a fever, not feeling well. Um, it's dangerous, however, in the very extremes of age. So kids under less than six months of age or so uh, can have real trouble breathing uh, and need to get into the hospital and sometimes even need onto, uh, onto ventilators. Similarly, mm -hmm. people who are very old, uh, usually much older than six or people who have uh, chronic heart or lung disease uh, are at risk for RSV as well. Uh, but for most uh, healthy adults, it's going to feel kind of like a uh, cold. Uh, but the problem is that they can then transmit it to people who are at higher risk. So, doctor, uh, we've talked about the uh, hospitalizations actually increasing with children. Are you seeing a real impact as far as RSV is concerned? And is there anything that parents can do to prevent their kids from getting infected? So unfortunately, we don't have a vaccine for RSV, and so it's really going to be about doing the things that we've learned how to do so well over the pandemic over the last two years or so. And that means staying away from large groups, uh, having um, good hand hygiene, um, and if things get worse, as I think that they uh, may, uh, we we'll, may start looking at wearing masks again when we're um, getting into larger groups. But the smart thing is uh, not to get into large groups to begin with. All right, so let's move on to the flu, because that one's always can be uh, confused with a lot of different things, right? What is it looking like this season in particular? And are we seeing cases already on the rise out there? We are already seeing cases. Normally here in New York, we see cases starting to go up in December, uh, and here we are still at the very end of October and starting to see cases is a worrisome sign. Um, the last two years have been very strange for flu because we've all been masked and taking uh, extra precautions. Uh, and so uh, this year, uh, it, could, uh, it could certainly be a, a particularly bad year as we see the, uh, the cases already starting to rise. Flu is you probably know, um, starts off kind of with a bang. That's one of the things that is most characteristic of flu uh, is that people get very sick very quickly. You can come up with a high fever and get terrible muscle aches, mm -hmm. uh, but it's the sudden onset. Uh, in fact, I, I have people who call me up and say, I have the flu and I'm too sick to come in. Uh, one, of, uh, one of my colleagues says that people get hit by the flu truck. Okay, yeah. so doctor, are you concerned at all about uh, the availability of hospital beds as more people get sick? 
So right now the uh, hospitalizations are mostly in kids, uh, and so that's uh, that's a concern. Uh, I do uh, adult medicine mostly, uh, and uh, so far we're doing okay with that. So the by far the best thing to do right now uh, is to take whatever steps you can not to get sick in the first place. And for the flu, that means getting your flu vaccine. Uh, and if you haven't gotten your flu vaccine yet, now's the time to get the flu vaccine. It takes about two weeks to work. Uh, we're already seeing cases uh, starting to come up. So go ahead uh, and get the flu vaccine. If you're over 65, you can get the high dose or adjuvant flu vaccine. Uh, but if they don't have that, just go ahead and get whatever vaccine uh, that they have. And, and now is really the time don't wait any longer mm -hmm. similarly um, it's a good thing not to get covid um, so the new bivalent uh, vaccine seems to be uh, more effective against the newer strains that are out there so if you've already had two three or even four uh, covid shots already and you haven't had the new one go ahead and get the uh, new vaccine now um, if you're protected even if not perfectly, but to some extent against both flu and COVID, you're a whole lot less likely to get sick uh, because when you get sick, it can sometimes be very difficult to tell whether you have flu or have COVID, and that may mean a delay in, in getting you the proper treatment. All right, Dr. DeRoach, thank you so much for joining us today. A lot to talk about, and I'm sure we'll, we'll see you back soon. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.